Now let's look at defining the costing sheets. Now this is a very important configuration because this is where all the previous configs that we have done with regard to calculation base, overhead rates and credit key all falls into place for our calculation for the costing sheets. The costing sheets has three rows. It's called a base row. Here you enter the calculation base. You have another row called overhead row. This way you enter the overhead rates. Then you have something called a total row. This is used for subtotals and totals. So in this row you don't enter any of these items in the total rows. You also enter the credit key in the overhead row. Now we look at all this when we do the configuration. So you'll be able to understand how they all fit into place. So I'm going to define the costing sheet. You can see over here the menu path controlling, product cost controlling, product cost planning. There's still another basic settings for material costing section. Under that overhead and you can come to define costing sheet. The short translation code for this is KZS2. So I'm just going to click on that. And let it pop up. So you can see the costing sheet. There are many different types of costing sheets made in over here. There are a lot of standard ones given by SAP as well. And this costing sheet is not only used for the CO module, but it's also used for the PS module, project systems, IM module. You can see it can be used for many different options as well. So it's not only limited to the CO module or product costing module. You can see some standard ones, for example, you can just, if you just want to browse what is this costing sheet, how it's been maintained, you can see all these calculations and rows are given. So I'm going to start fresh, I'm going to click on a new entry over here, and I'll take you through how to maintain the costing sheet. So just click on new entry over here, and I'm going to call it with the Z, so I'm just calling it ZCS1, Z costing sheet 1, I'll say MNM costing sheet one bakery it's going to put that over here uh, and then save the transaction press ok to continue so the costing sheet is been saved and now we will look at how to maintain the costing sheet rows over here so now i'm going to click on new entries you can see here you can enter your row details over here so this row is just a numbering an id given over here and later you can reference this id for your calculation so that's how it works for the calculations so rows i can call it 0, 01 0, 02 0, 04 or i can just call it 10 20 30 40 i'm just going to call this 10 for now and my costing base so first i'll do for my materials so i have created one costing base for my materials so let me go and select that I think I have used this one, ZM01 for materials. And just press enter in your keyboard so that comes up automatically. So this is for my costing base materials. So just that's all you need to fill up in this row. The next step I'm going to calculate the overhead for this base. So that's what I need to do. So I'm going to enter row 20 like this. Take my overhead rate for materials. So I'm just going to scroll down for my row over here materials zoh1 that's one i've created press enter your keyboard and that comes up over here so now this is the overhead rate and this is the base now i need to calculate this overhead rate so my overhead rate inside this i've already assigned the percentages and everything and i need to ensure that this overhead rate calculates from this base so all i'm going to do is just enter number 10 over here but this means from which row this from two row you can put a range of rows but i'm just going to have one range only so i'm just going to enter from number 10 row so again i'll take you through the explanation this is where i'm entering the base over here that's the costing base i have given all the calculation behind the base and this is i have given the meti the overhead rate so six percent i have defined already for this particular overhead rate and where this six percent should calculate from it should calculate from this base so that's where I have entered from this base the row number is 10 the number 10 over here and then where should the money get credited to so I'm going to enter the credit key over here that's why this option if I just scroll down to the right a bit and here I'm going to maintain my credit key so I've already created a credit key ZC1 for materials overhead it's going to enter that so I'll take you through one more time so you understand the costing base is maintained over here the overhead rate is maintained over here now how should the overhead rate calculate it should calculate from the costing base so i put the costing base row number here then where should the money go to where should the the credit amount should go